Hi everyone, this is a short tutorial on creating your Castle Branch account. Castle Branch is an online program that monitors and maintains immunizations and CPR requirements for all UMA dental health students. Each student will receive a personal email with Castle Branch instructions and a personal PIN ID number. This number is unique to each student and is required to create your online Castle Branch account. Once you're ready to create your account, simply enter the following website address portal.castlebranch.com backslash uw56. Don't panic, there's no need to remember this. This address will also be located under step one in your email. Once you arrive to this page, please confirm the University of Maine Augusta Dental Programs Portal. This is found at the top of the page in bold letters. Once you've confirmed the program, simply scroll down and hit place order. From here, click please select. This will give you four options that drop down. For all dental assisting students, please select the dental assisting tracker. Do not select the first dental assisting. If you should do so, it'll say background check. That's something you'll use later on in the program, so just ignore that for now. So for your immunizations and CPR, click Dental Assisting Tracker, and you'll see a dropdown of a compliance tracker. That is what you'll want to select. For all dental hygiene students, please select the Dental Hygiene Tracker, and again, hit the compliance tracker that's located underneath that. This is a quick review of the Castle branch that includes all contact inf information. Please note, no payment is necessary to create your account. Once you've reviewed this page, Hit I have read order instructions and click to continue. This second page will say the University of Maine Augusta at the top and depending on which tracker you're, you are in, it'll say either dental assisting, AFTA, or dental hygiene. Just make sure it's the correct tracker. Once you've reviewed this page, click I have read, understand, and agree to the terms and conditions of use. Then click continue. You will now be prompted to enter your personal identification number that was noted in your Castle Branch email. For demo purposes, we're just going to put 1234. Once you've entered your PIN, click Next. From here, you would enter all your personal information. Please note, any line that has a star next to it is required. And for your email address, you will want to use your main.edu account as this is the primary email address you will be using throughout the entire enrollment in the program. Under the second selection, you'll see personal identifiers. There is a star located next to your social security number, however, we do not require that. You can simply type zero for all numbers. and then hit next. From here, this is going to simply prompt you to check your email address and create a password. So again, confirm that the email address is correct. For demo purposes, I'm using a different email, but you should be using your main.edu email. Here, you'll create your password and confirm it. And just confirm your name as well. And here you'll see a brief overview of your order. If you should need any changes, please hit the go back button. Otherwise, hit submit.
and your Castle Branch account has been successfully created. To start uploading your immunizations and CPR records, you can hit Next. So here you can see my name on the upper left hand corner and you can see any documents to-do list, document centers, my documents. And bad gateway should not appear.